I'm Tony Lombardi with a Russell Street recap brought to you by Tiki Lee's Dock Bar. If you've been to Tiki Lee's, you'll get it. If you haven't, let me give you a few reasons why you might consider going there this weekend. Hi, welcome to Tiki Lee's. Oh yeah. Training camp almost always delivers a few surprises. Some guys step up and exceed expectations, while others fall short. Yet camp can deliver some unforgettable moments, some good, some bad, and some quite amusing. Back in August of 2012, a training camp that proved to be the building block for the franchise's second Super Bowl championship, a usually reserved Raven, Marshall Yonda, uncharacteristically delivered a post-practice speech. As he always does, John Harbaugh brought the team together to recap practice and set the stage for upcoming team activities. But before the gathering broke, Harbaugh gave the floor over to Yonda. The quiet buzz created from random chatter amongst the 90 players, even during Harbaugh's address, stopped. It was like a night in the forest, punctuated by the chirping of crickets that was inexplicably muted. When Yonda finished, his teammates chanted his name, and later we learned from Coach Harbaugh that a new theme was born. Embrace the grind. Fight the heat. Work through the pain. Beat your man. Give all you've got. Go the distance. Keep your eyes on the prize. And while you do, embrace the grind. A couple of summers ago, Jimmy Smith participated in drills with fellow cornerbacks. One particular sequence involved the tip drill. The coaching assistant would throw the ball above the heads of the defensive backs just to the edge of their respective reaches. The idea is to jump, tip it, keep it alive, and eventually, if properly executed, secure the ball. It was Smith's turn. He ran towards his coach, who proceeded to throw the ball well above Smith's head, as he had for the other DBs. Smith leaped, extended his right arm, caught the ball, and in one fluid motion ran towards his coach and handed him the ball. The coach simply shook his head in disbelief. During the 2005 training camp, Kyle Bowler was tossing passes to receivers matched up one-on-one with cornerbacks. There is no pass rush during these drills. Bowler dropped back and connected with a receiver running a nine route down the right sideline towards the end zone. Just beyond the end zone and about 10 yards to the right of the right sideline was a white metal shed. Bowler's pass was off the mark, sailing well over the head of his intended target and right into the shed, triggering an explosive sound that would have impressed attendance at the Aberdeen Proving Grounds. I still laugh about that one. There are many camp stories, and there will be more. Some will fade from memory. Others will become folklore. This year's grind begins in a few days. Embrace it. I'm Tony Lombardi.